an answer for impudence. Iranian president promised Russia to take revenge on Israel. Iranian President Masoud Pezeshkan, at a meeting with Russian Security Council Secretary Sergei Shoigu, said that Tehran intends to respond to Israel for the murder of Hamas chief Ismail Khania. I think Iran should not rush too much. There is a new Hamas chief appointed recently, right? So maybe it's worth waiting a bit and just taking revenge on Israel for both at once. Because I have no doubt about what will happen to the next Hamas chief. And I'm not sure how many Hamas chiefs Hamas actually has there. I'll have to spend them that often and that carelessly. Perhaps that is what exactly why Putin, the head of another terrorist country, warned Iran about. Putin a peace lover? Not really. Russia cannot deny Iran of military assistance as it relies heavily on Iranian drones for the war in Ukraine. Iran in turn needs additional military capabilities as it prepares to attack Israel. Well, the key question is how the Russians can reassure Tehran while not compromising its ties with Israel. And if Russia works with Iran on a barter basis, then it will try to sell weapons to other countries after the collapse of military experts. Things are not going well in Russia, indeed, judging by the fact that the authorities have decided to change the format of Russian main military technical exhibition army after its absolute failure last year. This year, the main goals of this event will be, according to the Russians, I quote, consolidation of the efforts of developers and manufacturers of products for military special operations, promotion of Russian weaponry on foreign markets, as well as demonstration of new solutions developed, taking into account the experience of conducting a special military operation. That is against the backdrop of this very experience. I guess last year the event ended in huge failure. Delegations from more than 60 countries came to it. To whom Russian Tsar Putin promised a wide line of modern models of weapons. However, in the end, the volume of foreign contracts concluded by Russia military turned out to be more than three times lower than pre-war levels. Well, this by no means means that Russia is bleeding dry, no. We understand that Russia is a huge country, but a huge country that is trying to look great. What could be more pitiful? That is it for this episode. It was me, Henry Keane, and our team at UAT of English, hopefully to bring some, at least, hard truth in easy terms for you out there. Please like, share, and comment. Your voice matters, as it in turn helps Ukrainian voice to be shared worldwide. More to come already tomorrow. Stay safe and tuned. Thank you. Goodbye.